Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Mitchell Legion Baseball's 2023 season is terminated amidst a South Dakota DCI investigation. Mitchell Baseball Association President Jason Christensen tells Kelloland News in a statement that because of, quote, new information, the NBA has decided to terminate the remainder of the 2023 Legion baseball season. He says this only applies to the varsity team's season. Asked Thursday if he was able to elaborate about the nature of the new information, Christensen told Kelloland News that because of, quote, the ongoing investigation and the involvement of juveniles, we cannot provide further information and would refer all questions to the office of the South Dakota Attorney General. A man and woman from Georgia are behind bars in Brookings this morning, accused of trying to cash forged checks. The Dual County Sheriff's Office says it received a call about a forged check trying to be cashed in Toronto on Tuesday. A suspicious vehicle was also reported in Toronto around the same time. Then on Wednesday, a forged check trying to be cashed was reported in Brookings. The suspect vehicle was stopped on I-29 by South Dakota Highway Patrol. Officials say it was determined that the two people inside were involved in the Toronto incidents. Travaris Johnson and Shakisia Cato were arrested and are both charged with forgery and aiding and abetting. Authorities with uh, say the investigation is ongoing and more charges are pending. And two Union County deputies made a shocking discovery after a typical traffic stop. Just after 2 p.m. on July 8th, officers conducted a traffic stop for suspicion of driving under the influence. After further investigation, a 14-year-old found sleeping in the back seat was revealed to be a missing person from St. Louis, Missouri. Reports say the 33-year-old male and 29-year-old female had driven 18 hours to St. Louis to pick up the missing teen and were taking the juvenile back to Montana. The male driver and female passenger were subsequently arrested for contributing to the abuse and neglect of a minor DUI possession and more. Missouri Department of Social Services is in the process of picking up the juvenile and bringing him back to Missouri. This investigation is ongoing. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Monk. Morning, Scott. A warm day today? Yeah, we're looking at numbers probably into the 80s for afternoon highs. This will happen as skies become partly cloudy. We do have a couple of showers in south central, southwestern, eventually southeastern Kettle Land for this morning. Things will remain fairly light. I think many locations will come in less than two tenths of an inch for total rainfall. We are looking at a high of 86 today in Sioux Falls, 84 in Aberdeen, 88 in Pier, and 82 in Rapid City. Temperatures this weekend will be cool. We'll probably have numbers in the 70s and 80s for afternoon highs. Next chance for rain after this morning, probably falling on Tuesday. More details on the Kelloland Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. A memorial ride is set to take place tomorrow to remember Tate McKnight, a man from Coleman who died by suicide almost three years ago. It'll start in Del Rapids and go to numerous small towns before ending back there for a band and food. Well, this is the third year they've hosted the memorial ride. This is the first time that all the proceeds raised will go into a scholarship fund named after Tate. He loved his Harley, he loved his family and his friends, and he liked to have fun. And I think this is all three of those things. Like, there's no better way, I think, to honor him. Sign up for the Memorial Ride and Poker Run is at the Prohibition Pub in Del Rapids from 10 to noon on Saturday. For more information about the event, including each stop, you can visit a link attached to this story right here on our website. The Helpline Center is pleased with the response 988 has received over the past year. Sunday marks one year since the number launched in South Dakota and across the country. South Dakota's 988 is a partnership between the state and the Helpline Center. More than 7,500 people have reached out to 988 since it launched. People call 988 for many reasons, whether that is just struggling with depression and anxiety, whether they're really struggling with a loved one who's dealing with mental illness or substance use. We have people that just truly feel like they aren't able to have that hope. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, substance abuse, or suicidal thoughts, call 988. The 84th Annual Sioux Empire Fair is less than a month away and staff is busy putting the final touches on everything. 
An important part of the fair for many is the livestock exhibitors, and this year there's a new outdoor covered show ring to keep everyone in the shade. Fair president and CEO Scott Wick says he's just hoping for good weather throughout the entire fair. We hope it continues to rain for our agricultural friends and for the farmers to get those nice rains. But, the, you know, it can rain overnight, but during the day and, and when the concerts are going, I just don't need any rain and, and nothing higher than 85 degrees. The Zoo Empire Fair runs from August 4th through the 12th. To find links on where to purchase your tickets, visit this story on Kelloland.com. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. Scott? All right, good morning, everybody. We continue to follow a couple of light rain showers this morning, south central, southeastern South Dakota. They are moving to the east as we do go into the afternoon. You can expect temperatures to return to the 80s for highs as we are looking at uh, a slow decrease in cloud cover. And then we'll see if we get anything to redevelop during the evening hours. Futurecast trying to pinpoint something there near Yankton, also north of Aberdeen. I think anything that develops will be driven by the sun. Once the sun goes down, we'll lose the energy. And we'll have dry skies tonight and a cool weekend. We are looking at temperatures this weekend in the 70s and 80s. 70s probably across eastern Kettleland as northwest winds will help bring in this cooler and drier air. Not only for tomorrow, but I think that trend will continue into Sunday and then it changes by the time we do get into Tuesday we are looking at a wind direction from the southeast that will help bring in some thicker dew point temperatures which means a little bit more moisture in the air so we uh, added that 20 to 30 percent chance for shower or thunderstorm by the time we do get into Tuesday here's that forecast for today temperatures in the 80s to near 90 degrees in central South Dakota you can check the details of the weekend forecast with the seven-day forecast while you're here on Online. Have a great day.